Right now on Mini Truck Build Off. My semi-modified truck goes under the knife as my club tackles the challenge of installing a complete air ride setup in just 16 hours. Will this task be too difficult to achieve in just two days? Find out now on Mini Truck Build Off number one, the airbag install. For the next two days, a team of mini truckers with different backgrounds, some backyard mechanics, people in their home shops turning rust into driveway diamonds, to shop and business owners, those who make their living working on other people's dream rides. For 24 hours, I'm donating my truck to have an entire air ride installed, sponsored in part by Airbag and Blade Clothing and Mini Truck and TV. If they succeed, they have any concerns? Bragging rights as the winners of the very first mini truck build -off. Got one hour remaining! With just 16 hours on the clock, can they work together as a team and complete this truck? Or will the pressure get to them and end this building frustration and I walk home? Here's the game plan. Install entire airbag setup. Have two days, eight hours each day, 16 hours total. Must use supplied parts and fabricate any missing components. End game, drag in the truck. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Todd Hayden, along with Wirenut and Gunner. This is Mini Trucking TV Presents Mini Truck Build Off 1, the airbag install. Let's get going! Okay, first, we need to go back to the history of this truck. January 2020, I filmed Gunner's first time welding, started Mini Truck and TV, and posted it. Mini Truck and TV. Wirenet joined the team, and we were set to conquer the world. Then COVID came. Shows were canceled, masks were worn, and we were left with almost nothing to film. That is until I traded my car for a truck. A stock Nissan Frontier Crew Cab. With a Japanese drivetrain and manufactured in Mississippi, the Frontier is the latest truck in the long line of the D-Series models, starting 25 years ago, replacing the D21 and D22 models known as the hard body. I decided to turn my stock Nissan into a COVID build. Small mods to film and keep our channel filled with content. They're in the tailgate now, I need to find out. And then for the break that's supposed to My truck, AKA Project No Name, got a tune-up, tinted windows, graphics to cover up a paint blemish, and a little lowering job. But that wasn't enough. With no end to COVID in sight, I decided to dig deeper and go lower to make this truck worthy of club president ownership. Emails were sent, budgets were set, and boxes of air ride suspension parts were on their way. Dr. Feelgood was born. Now I could have made this a weekend project taking over the next month or so, or I could challenge my club to prove their vast array of knowledge in a limited number of hours in full mini truck and TV show production status. Wanting to show the world that my club, Negative Behavior, is best under pressure with cameras in their faces, they chose this, a build-off using my truck. Now that you know a little history of how we got here, let's get on with the build. Obviously there needs to be some, uh, some stuff that's taken care of before the big build. And so what we're doing today is kind of putting the truck up and checking out what we need to clearance in order for the build to go that much smoother. Because obviously the big thing is an, air, an airbag setup in the time that, that we've allotted, not the clearance either. Working on the bed and we're working on the inner fenders just to make sure that we can clear everything out. We took out the plastic inner fender wells and that gave us a ton of clearance uh, in terms of height and all around or all around the tire once it starts sinking up. 
Yes, there's gonna to have to be some cutting and some maneuvering, but that can be done down the road as long as we are there and clearance. So when it sits down, we're not jabbing tires, we're not we're not flattening tires, and we can we can just get it down and and uh, um, consider that uh, done for a finish line. As you can see, that's pretty much the line that needs to cut out for the wheel wells. I don't want to overcut. That's probably the minimum that it needs to be. The intention is to have a fender replace in there that's taller and higher and more clearance in the back since this will be getting a four, not, a four link. Okay. So, are you ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're probably wondering what we're going to need for this, right? Where are the parts? Right under here. This is everything that you will need. These parts are from Airbag. They were nice enough to uh, to give us some parts for this and we're going to make a, a nice truck out of it for them. All right, we'll get out of your way so you guys can finish in getting in your equipment. And uh, I guess you need a tire lock. I'll get that for you, have fun. Once the crew was released on the truck, they quickly split up to get a game plan going. The front end was disassembled to check clearances on the airbag shocks custom made by Airbag. In the rear, the guys removed the bed to see the room they actually have for the four link bags and remaining factory components. 19 on the bottom and 17 on top. Hey guys, I know that you're uh, you're trying to get this front end figured out and the back end and whatnot. However, Airbag um, does uh, uh, printable instructions on this whole kit on all the different parts that you want. The, uh, the triangulated link, the plug and play, the airbags on the, the manifold, everything. So in case you, you know, not everyone does this daily, so you kind of, you know, slip on what you forget and what you remember, but here you go. Here's everything what you need, so. Okay, Sweet. thank you. How about it? Nice to have a good review of Yes. Once a game plan is figured out, the cutting, grinding, and welding begins and doesn't end for two long days. A little worried we may cut it right to the end. The crew's progress is going good, but will it last? Just add a little bit to the each mark on each side. Coming up on Mini Truck Build Off. I'm Dave Oak. Uh, just making it happen here today, whatever it takes. I think it's awesome. I think we got some awesome parts to work with. Toughest part in this build? Trying to get the four link in the rear. I think that it's going to drag its bumper. Before or after the time is up? Mm, it's going to be tight, I think. My main position is the welder, fabricator, and whatever else I can help with. Well, I think it's going to be a tough build, but I think we got the crew power here that, and the know-how to uh, get it done. My biggest concern is going to be the four link and trying to get it in and mount it. Uh, that looks like it's going to be the biggest challenge of it all. I'm Wade Porter and I'm here building Todd's truck. Do they have any concerns? I think the, the amount of talent that we got back here, we're going to get... Uh, my name's Sean, aka Honda Boy, and uh, I'm here pretty much just as assistance for anything that needs to be done and uh, hopefully get this thing done in time. I think we're going to 
it runs super close. I'm a little worried we may cut it right to the end, but I think we'll be right on time. I'm Jason, and my job is wiring and plumbing on this thing, and we're getting the front end knocked out too. I think this is going to be sweet. It's a new truck, not a lot of these have been done. I like the strut bags in the front, I hope that all works. Um, my name's Jim Lyle. I'm um, here this weekend helping Todd do his truck and I'm just facilitating whatever they ask me to do. This is my first full uh, bagging effort. I think we'll get done tomorrow early. Before the time? Before the time, yeah. I'm Eileen. I'm the shop bitch. I'm running around getting tools, running errands, um, kind of moral support, making sure uh, everyone has what they need. My name is Jenny Hayden. My job is to Make sure that everyone's taken care of and around and parts are collected. Are, are we taking home this truck tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Driving it? Is it going to drag? Yeah. Which part? Though? How's it going, Wirenut? What's up, everybody? I'm Wirenut. I'm helping out with the filming. Um, Helped out with the front end a little bit, get the strut bags in, and just a little bit there. I said no talking when they did the grinder. I'm Gunner, and I was born into this scene. I am part owner of Bobby Story, that is half of my baby. He has full custody. Um, I lost the court battle in the divorce, but uh, no hard feelings about that. Justin Anderson, I'm here to help build the wonderful, beautiful truck over there, Mr. Fieldgood. Um, yeah, here to have fun and do truck stuff. After stealing my truck stuff's quote, Justin sashays back to work. The guys have removed the bed and check out all the usable room from the cab to the bumper since the spare tire and brackets have been previously removed. The next task is to place the custom bridge notch that was previously fabricated in-house prior to taping on the frame over the recently installed C-notch. This is a task that took a while due to Davo's previously overkill fabricated insulation of the former baby C notch. Well, this frame's got a hole right here. It's the same on both sides. So I utilized that and then I measured off and I've got a mark on this side here to get me centered. So I can get my notch lined up or centered. So my notch stays square with the cab and everything. Once it's all so I'm just trying to make sure that it's all straight, square, best as possible. So then we can get it tack into place. Tack it and then double check everything and if we like it then we'll send it. You guys hear that? I know. It takes, takes a lot of effort to pick up some cheese with that wine. It's the world's smallest pile of Somebody's talking or what? No. With the smack talk out of the way, the new notch is now in place, courtesy of Dwayne Neal, the pro welder for this challenge. Dwayne spot welds all the notch plates together and then lays down a killer bead.
a cush. Like a fire in the bush. I burn ten feet tall to the sky and I'm ready to cook. I'm on a mission for the greatest. I write bars with the cadence. This pen is like a claw and I can't stop it. With day one almost over, they begin working on the angles of the forelink and the axle pinion. The team then grinds off the paint and the dirt and triple checks measurements and angles, making sure that the rear end is three to four degrees forward and each side is measured exactly the same before anything else is permanently welded. Todd, how much gas you got? Are you pretty gassy or not at all? Oh, right. that's even better. Well, we for days. Yeah, no, I, I think that with, with this, I'm glad I waited on the wheels because if doing the 20, like doing a 22, because this is, this is set up as a, a 20 with a, a, a 35 series tire. That's what this is considered. So get that little bit, get that inch more on each side. It looks good though, guys. A surprise visit from Rick Hall, a member of Freaks of Nature here in Washington State, checked out our progress and was impressed with what he's seen. Uh, I'm Rick, Freaks of Nature, Washington chapter. Seeing this badass prog progress on this truck, 16 hours is insane. Very impressed. The work is killer. Uh, everybody's working as a team. Here we go. Here we go. 10 seconds. The clock hits zero on day one. Yeah. On tap for day two is the installation of the rear bags, four link, plumbing, wiring, and the front bag shocks, which still has all members scratching their heads on how they should be clearanced. It's not that big of a list with just eight more hours on the clock, right? Yeah. You gotta wake me up every two hours. I think I got a concussion. Tensions mount and the team is divided. With just eight more hours to go. Next time on Mini Truck Build Up. Tweedly dee, tweedly dum.